everyone, it's Karis and today I'm here with Laura, who is my housemate. And today we're going to be doing the roommate tag because I saw this on Holly's channel and I thought we should do it because we have a lot to say about each other. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to do that and then at the end we're going to do a little game of who knows each other the best and I definitely think it's going to be me. It's going to be me. The first question is, did you know each other before you became roommates? Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> we moved in together in our second year of uni, so yeah. we knew each other for a year before. Thought we knew what we were letting ourselves in yeah. What were your first impressions of each other? The first time I met you was Asha Sweet. Oh yeah. Laura went with Amy, who's one of our like best friends now. I basically just ignored her. Yeah, it's weird to think now that you and Amy are like our two best friends at university. The way I remember meeting you is the first time I came to your room, I was invited by somebody else to her room for a night out and I was just a bit like really shy. <laughs> it's a bit awkward when you're invited by someone else to someone else's house really isn't it? Yeah. How long did it take you to become friends and were you friends before becoming roommates? So We were friends before we were roommates. Yeah definitely. What do you most commonly argue about? Oh when you say t. Oh yeah. It's we have the north south north well, south I'm not divide. northern. I'm from the Midlands, but She's to northern. Laura this is northern. <laughs> so we have the Midlands South argument about everything like I words, tried to teach her the correct like way bath, of speaking. <laughs> like bath and it's bath. Laugh. Laugh. Tooth. Tooth. We've never had any serious arguments, no. so doing so quite we're still well. About six months left. Six months left to go. What thing does your roommate um, do that most bothers you? You when you click. <laughs> Your ankle, your jaw, your knuckles, it really freaks me out, I hate it. Laura most annoys me when she sends me links with um, spoilers for the endings of TV oh, shows in them. I do do that by accident. I've, I've ruined, never forgiven you. I've ruined Pretty Little Liars for Karis and I did feel really bad. Who spends the longest getting ready in the morning? You. Only because 100% I you. Though. Like, I do take long showers. Oh my god, I probably you spend so like ninety percent of the gas bill just on my shirt. <laughs> I think so. So, what is something you didn't notice about each other until you became roommates? I think I didn't notice how like stressy you were because I was saying like when I used to go around your flat, I used to be like, oh yeah, I've just started my essay today, feeling like really proud of myself, <laughs> and then you used to be like, yeah, I've written mine. <laughs> you get a lot more stressy than I thought you would. Yeah, I get very stressed. I've never noticed how sassy you can be. It's really quite funny. <laughs> Do you ever get tired of seeing each other? I think we've got a good balance. We've never been in the same seminars together, and I think if we had the same seminars, yeah. and we were at uni all day, then at the house all day. And we do take different modules, so that, yeah, that kind of gives us a bit one. of time apart. So Yeah. How do you avoid tension while living together? We've not really had any really tense situations, have we? No. I think if something's getting, if an argument, a fake argument is getting a bit like serious, so we just get then someone it will just like say a stupid comment yeah. and then we'll all start laughing. Yeah, and just forget what we're laugh. getting. Yeah, just we just laugh. laugh at each other quite a lot. Do you share a bathroom and how do you deal with it? We do share a bathroom. Yeah, but we've got a separate shower and toilet. There's four of us in the house and we all have really different um, like showering, shower getting routines ready routines. And, yeah. Have your roommate's friends become your friends? The girls who were, who I was like closest to in like first year. Yeah. We now just do stuff with them all the time and yeah. we have the same friendship group basically, don't we? And I don't think there's really anyone that we don't like all get along. Do you free drink or go to parties together? Both. Yeah, I mean, we don't go out very often. No, because we're not really. We always have the enthusiasm of and going out. And then the actual time comes and we're like, just like, let's watch our Yeah, let's just drink in the house instead. Yeah. Do you use your roommate's things without asking? No. Yes. <laughs> no, only a mirror. <laughs> Laura is the only person in the house who has a full length mirror. She's also got the downstairs room, so it's just really convenient just to come in here. Friend just <laughs> strolls on in, takes a little look at what they're looking like, <laughs> strolls on out again. I've got no privacy in my room, it has to be said. <laughs> We're like such a little family cringy oh, cringy, household. but it is true. Because we share like toothpaste. Um, shampoo, <laughs> shampoo and conditioner. What are your favourite things to do with each other? Watch TV. Watch TV. <laughs> shopping. Yeah, shopping. We shopping. go on some nice. We go on nice little trips. like day trips to places in Cornwall. Do you cook together or separately? Together. Together. Laura cooks. I do a lot of cooking all the time. Like a master chef. Scarlett over here. does the washing up. And Karis does nothing. Do <laughs> 
Yeah, I put Spotify on while Laura's cooking. Have you met your roommate's family or have you been to their home? Oh, we, <laughs> we have, have an amazing <laughs> story for that. So I think we should start with my parents because that's like the yeah. boring one. So you've never been to my house. She was I meant haven't. to come to my house over the summer, but she didn't. Birmingham's she's so really far rude. away. I don't live in Birmingham. <laughs> <laughs> Not a from me. I've like met her parents when they've dropped her off Briefly. at uni. I'd and say and more so my dad. Yeah, I've definitely spoken to your dad more than your mum. But I've been to Laura's house twice, once before we went to Summertime Ball and once before we went to Krakow, which is the first time I met her parents. And oh my god, Karish couldn't just arrive and come to the house, she had to be a drama queen about the whole thing. Um, so she got the train to where I live and I was supposed to be meeting her and I thought, it's alright, I'll wait in the car park and she'll just come out to me. And then I got this text and the text said... <laughs> I'm stuck in the lift. <laughs> so Laura came like, up the stairs to the lift. <laughs> so I just started laughing. I like, like, a good friend would. <laughs> <laughs> it was really, really like, what do I do? People were looking at me as I was walking past. I couldn't help but laugh because it was just too funny. So we didn't know what to do. So you had to ring your dad and then her dad came <laughs> to the station. <laughs> So like it was I, only like a five minute drive so that's how I met her dad through the lift I was like hi <laughs> but it gets even better because he literally walked up to the lift doors and went like that and they just went apart <laughs> and uh, we had tried we this tried just before it. but it wasn't happening I think because I kept pressing a button on the inside it like it made the lift them a little bit at one point, just as your dad came and yeah. like opened them, but he obviously thought I was an idiot because he, <laughs> he was like, "You can't, like, there was no need for you to be standing in the lift for half an hour." And then I met your mum just afterwards. Obviously, she already she knew that I'd been stuck, stuck in, in the, the lift. lift, so she, I think, she was sort of just like, "What's it all going to?" What is the best memory you have of with your roommate? Oh, there's so many to choose from. <laughs> I think mine has to be crackle. Yeah, that was a good time. I um, think it's just like all the little things that we've done together. I think the best times are literally just sitting in the lounge. Coming out with some ridiculous yeah. statements. And when the one others... of us will say something stupid. So the last question before we do the game thing is, has being roommates affected your relationship with each other? I think we're better friends. Yeah, though. we're better friends. I mean, if you can put up with living with her, then. <laughs> I think we can definitely like mock each other a lot more. Yeah. Because. So as that's the tag and everything, we thought we'd do a little game of who knows each other best. And yeah. we're going to find out that I know her yeah. better. <laughs> Don't listen. Karen's really doesn't. Okay, so the first one is who is the other's favourite author? Okay, so for Karis, I have said Holly Bourne. Yeah, how did you know that? Because <laughs> you told me that you said her like three times. You must have watched her videos because I don't think I've ever said that. Okay, yeah, I have met you her. You've met her times. three times, like, you must be a pretty big fan. I said Josie Campbell. Yeah! I wasn't sure. Yay! I'm so surprised you knew that. Our favourite book that we've studied on our witchcraft module, but not included in Harry Potter. So I said The Witches by Roald Dahl. Yeah. <laughs> it would be between that and The Crucible, but I would say that. I went for The Crucible, but I wasn't <laughs> sure because I thought it might be I Titch a bit. Or it might be Weird Sister, or it might be The Witches. <laughs> or it might be Practical Magic. I haven't read Practical Magic yet. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? I would probably say... Probably The Crucible. I did really like The Crucible. And we did go and see it together. And we did. That was another moment. <laughs> Each other's favourite Little Mix song. Karis is a huge Little Mix <laughs> fan, which is why we're doing this question. Shout out to my ex. I went for F you. <laughs> what is it? Power. That would be mine as well. <laughs> favourite current singer. I don't know how to spell her name. I think I spelled it wrong, but... Halsey? Yeah. <laughs> so surprised you got that. I thought you were going to put Taylor Swift and I was like, I do love She's Taylor Swift. She's not very current at the moment, she? hasn't got she? anything out at the moment and I definitely think it's Halsey now. Yeah. I put Jess Glynn. I wasn't sure. <laughs> I'm quite liking Dua Lipa at the moment. Oh, I wouldn't have got that. Favourite country slash holiday we've been on or to. So You're not allowed to. <laughs> <laughs> I have two answers. I'm going to go with my top answer, which is Lake Glen. But... In second place is Boston. 
Boston <laughs> would be my top four. No, I knew that. So you've been going on about Lake's Red and you're like, oh, yeah, I'm because going I to think, Lake's no, Red. because I thought we should go somewhere and I don't think we could we afford should. to go to Boston. No, like, we like, probably could. Cheaper to, like, Lake's Red was really nice, but yeah. like, my favourite ever holiday was Boston. Yeah. I, I put Disney. <laughs> Because <laughs> you were going on about it the other day, and it's all I could think of. <laughs> I went when I was five. <laughs> yeah, well, it might have been a peak time in your life. Yeah, yeah but I was Krakow, I was going to put, but then I didn't think it would be that either, and I couldn't think of where else you'd be. It, it was Krakow. I loved, <laughs> I loved Krakow. I really don't know this one for you. Oh, what is it? Favourite food. Oh, I've got a top two again. <laughs> but I will stick with my top answer, which is carrot cake, followed closely by Mexican food. I hadn't thought of Mexican food, but I would put Mexican food with carrot cake. And I would have said Nando's. <laughs> oh, Nando's, I completely forgot. I really didn't know for you, so I just put Christmas or roast dinner. Because <laughs> I just thought that we had our Christmas dinner delivery in today. Are you just going by the most recent thing that I've talked about? <laughs> Mexican is my favourite oh. food. Favourite film that we've watched together. Pitch Perfect. <laughs> Don't tell me it's not because you did not shut up. No, if I was being perfect. really picky, <laughs> you'd be like Pitch Perfect 2 actually. <laughs> See, I even know, I know what you're going to say. <laughs> but I'll, I'll give it to you. Oh. Me before you. <laughs> No, that's not. I was gonna say inside out. Inside out. <laughs> Current favorite TV show. Dream Queen. Yeah. Easy. Hey, Chanel number three wanna be. I don't think I've got this right either. Oh, I'm so worried. I put Jane the Virgin. Oh, I've forgotten about that. Oh, I'll give that one to you. Favorite TV show of all time. Skins. Yeah. I thought you were going to put Pretty Little Lies and I was no, going to be like, no. Your skin's obsession is quite scary. No, you didn't see me in the peak of my skin's obsession. That's what worries me. I put One Tree Hill. Yes! Is that actually oh, right? Yes! <laughs> you should be so proud. Oh my god. Current favourite actor slash actress? Anna Kendrick. No. I don't think she's even. Well, she's one of my favourites. Oh. But I'd say. Ashley Benson. Yeah, Ashley Benson, Billy Lord, who's Chanel number three. Ah, oh, should have gone with Chanel number three. The most. Amelia Clark. That's not fair. That's only because you said it earlier. <laughs> I wouldn't have got it otherwise. Favourite ever, OTP. <laughs> I was going to do <laughs> your worst ever one. <laughs> Caleb. Yeah. I don't know if this is our shit number, even the characters' names, but the ones off One Tree Hill. Maylee, yes! Yes, yes. is that right? And the last one is sort of a three in one. So it's our favourite out of the liars, I'm pretty little liars because we watched it together. Favourite liar, least favourite liar, and least favourite character. Your favourite pretty little liar is Hannah. Yeah, obviously. Your least favourite liar is Emily. Yeah. And the last one I have no idea because you swing so wildly between seasons. <laughs> so Ian? I don't really have an opinion on Ian, to be honest. I, I literally I'd have no idea. It's too difficult. Tom Maron. Oh, I should have got with that. <laughs> he is horrible to Hannah. Hannah. Obviously. As your favourite. Emily, as your least favourite. I mean, I didn't know whether to count Alison or not. Oh. Or Spencer. <laughs> it definitely depends on the season, but Emily most of the time oh, is annoying. annoying. And I went for Shower Harvey as your least favourite oh. character. Because <laughs> I couldn't think either. I kind of love her because she's, she's so useless. She's I wouldn't say she's my least favourite. So, Karis, how well do you know me? I got five. I got out of twelve. Seven. Oh. <laughs> it was prediction. Let's be honest, we all knew that was going to happen. So that was everything for today's video. Thank you, Laura, for being on my channel. No problem. You know me better than I know you, but Obviously. I think we already knew that. Let me know in the comments if you've got a housemate or a roommate and what you would answer to any of the questions that we answered. And let me know if you think you would know your housemate better than they know you. Other than that, that is it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have a great day and I will see you again next time. Bye! Bye.